Welcome back to this episode where we review the curriculum from the community. Little disclaimer, I don't have a degree in HR. I am not a recruiter. I just had a couple of classes about how to write a good CV, how to present yourself in the right way. Plus, I have been having talks with the recruiters on stream that taught us how to write a good CV. So these are some tips that I've learned and that I am just sharing with others. And most of the other tips are coming from uh, the chat itself. Today, we're evaluating Emmett Brown. They would like to get a job as an analyst analytical chemist. First of all, as always, we look at the um, layout of this. Are you applying in the UK? No, no. Okay. There's only few reasons why you would make a curriculum longer than two pages. And these ones are if you are applying in the UK, two pages CV is fine. If you are a senior, super senior position. So like you have a 30 years of experience and you're applying as a company manager, as a CEO or something. Or if you are applying for an academical job role. In that case, you, you need to two pages because you need to add the articles, the books that you've been writing in, reports uh, and all of that. In this case, even though we know they want to apply for a job that is uh, a researcher, I don't see anything that it's uh, related to writings or like something like that. So my question is, why is it so long? To me, it feels like there is a lot of things that don't need to be there. Because if you're applying to be a researcher, then you would have to add all the pages, all the things that you've been writing, all the projects, all the articles, all of that. But in this case, there is none of that. I'd rather maybe either sum it up in one page or I would turn it into uh, parts where you talk about like uh, researches and projects and articles that you wrote, if you, if you wrote any. Okay. Then uh, apart from that, I don't hate the layout. The only thing that I want to tell you, as always, a curriculum is like a newspaper. Whatever you see is the front page has to be the most important thing. The thing that is going to grab people's attention is going to make them buy the newspaper. In this case, you have this, which is okay. The picture, I know it's a, just a placeholder, I guess I get it. But in you could think about not putting the pictures since it's not important for a researcher to have a good image. We're not talking about a shop assistant, right? So you could remove the image. Then think about the fact that there is all of this white space at the beginning of the page, which is one quarter of the page, maybe a bit less. But it's a lot of space where there's only a picture, your name and some information. You can make it way smaller. You can just put your name information in just a little box up here for those type of information. You can find a way to reassess, which is as you see here, there's a lot of white space in here. You see? There's a lot of white space. If instead of putting like everything one under each other, you just put that everything in one line, you would may manage the space a little bit better. You have education before the technical experience. In this case, since the most relevant, since it's a research laboratory scientist, and the most uh, present is uh, in a technical experience, ex Experience. Okay, that's how you write it. Okay, okay, okay. Sometimes I get confused. Just correct it. Be careful with the little typos. I know they sound eh, just a typo. It's fine, but they could make the difference. Like they could be like, oh, they, they care about that. And also ATS. Remember, the ATS is always watching you. If you're wondering what's an ATS, check this previous video where I talk about it. So you know how to deal with the ATS a little bit better and uh, actually get the job that you want. So then I would move uh, all of this total technical experience section before the education. So I'm going to start first by revising the part of the technical education, like the work experience, and then we're going to go to the educational. So here I would not put never more than three or four bullet points. So already here I can tell you remove some of these. Now this is going to be hard for me because some of these things have no clue what they are but the more i don't understand the better because it means that you've been very specific so gc and hplc method development and validation conducting can oh cannabinoid and terpene analysis on oils extract is isolates cannabis one thing that i can tell you maybe as a suggestion since you have a lot of things that you want to say and you have a lot of things that you did we want to implement the space a bit better something that you maybe want to think about is how you have all this space empty i know that it's for the sake of having it fit and looks look good but maybe something that you can do is like you can move everything that you have here a bit here so if you move all of it a bit there it's better in my opinion so like you gain a little bit more space or you can think about changing the entire layout again if you're thinking about uh, what template you could use if you're looking for a cv template that it's decent i always suggest the harvard one because it's clear and it has everything you need this is the one you can then tweak it to make it look nicer and more enjoyable like change the font change the colors change whatever if you put the 
the um, the place and the the time here you're gonna get back that space anyway you can make this one a bit shorter development conducting cannon boy blah 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 development of robust and rapid method for method preparation blah 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 something that you can do here to implement this one the only thing is like maybe you can add something on uh, uh for example conducting cannabinoids entropy and analysis on oil what what was the dis discovery like what did you do that it, it could be I, i'm i'm throwing you tell me if i'm completely out of uh out of sight like, out of scope here but you could add something like that improved the transformation of cannabinoids uh, from 20 to 30 percent something you know like a result a little bit of results anyway we can add something uh, about the, um, the results how you implemented how it got from one percentage to the other one how did you how good but all of that beautiful if you wrote something put the link to it if there's something some article something put it then master thesis grade very good i don't know what one means if i was you i would check back on how how are the grades in Germany if you're applying in Germany and I'll figure that out because maybe imagine if you're putting like this in the in the US in the US they have the GPA a good GPA depends where and what you're applying for blah blah it's 4.24 or something so they see one and they're like that's not very good so I'll just uh figure that out or you just don't put the grade then quantitative ter terpene catheterization in cannabis the type oh you're doing a lot of researches about cannabis Bravo! You're searching a lot. What? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I see. Again. Oh, I love that you... Oh, I love this. This? Love it. Love it. You put instrumentation. Very cool. Very nice. Because a company might want to like look... Like we have this instrument with someone that knows how to use it. You have it right there. University of Applied Science. Okay. Laboratory for Instrumental Analysis. Um, You know something that you could do maybe? Stupid. All right. Something just uh, for the sake of it. Maybe you can put this ones in like bold. Uh, laboratory for instrumental analysis, military study, instrumentation, again, beautiful, bachelor thesis, again, same uh, thing about that before. If you have links, lovely. If you have links, beautiful. Instrumentation, nice. Uh, Walker Academy Industrial Internship. Is this still relevant? I don't think they're still relevant. Something that happened 14 years ago should not be relevant to what you're doing right now. Other experiences, audio engineering, not relevant. Tutoring, coaching, refugees in mathematics, not relevant. You've been in 2017, it doesn't matter. I don't think that none of these are actually relevant to what you're putting there. I would put something here. If you had nothing as experiences, I would put it. In this case, since you're applying for like a researcher, you being an audio engineer could be cool if you put it as like a pure passion, you can put it like somewhere that. Mm. Uh, what other experience counts as then? If they did like other experience, like they went two years ago or last year, they went on a volunteering trip and and they discover blah or like other experiences that again experience or other experience when they participate in uh, something like a hackathon I don't know if you do a hackathon with researchers or something they went on uh, a field trip to some uh, something like that languages German native English fluent software proficiency MSC office Chrome Leon I don't know what those are intermediate advanced okay basic again you see here how much empty space you have here you can find a play a way to like fill it up and then international experience you've been to china australia it's not relevant unless you're applying to china or australia or unless they're working a lot with chinese and australian companies and could be why yeah exactly find a way to put them like in few lines because this is taking a lot of space for no reason here this one is not that important this one like people they might think oh they went on a trip cool for them cultivated language and communication skills through content with people from around the world learn to use non-verbal and verbal communication to overcome communication and verbal barriers everyone who traveled and did that right i don't think that this is relevant learn how to adapt and anticipate anticipation improve with new plans due to periodic travel mishaps and unexpected events if you think that this is like something that you want to add this whole thing like it doesn't make sense for me to have it here maybe you can find it like um, a way to put it out like in um, extra or something but it should not be like longer than one or two lines if you have publications articles whatever you have researches anything put them here write them i will allow if it's a full page of that yes people need to know if you've been active into the research in that sense this is it chat do you have any tips to give do you think you should custom your cv every time based on which company you're applying yes chat i know it could be a pain to do right because you have to do it for each single one but that's why you can create the whole structure you can just have like the inside of each job changing and tweaking a little bit 
if you're applying to multiple jobs, not just to one, okay, and you're thinking about quantity over quality, you can use uh, softwares like JetGBT and you send the, the job position. It's gonna take out the keywords and you can think about those keywords and how to put them in here, in these specific fields. Like if you have, again, always never lie on your resume, never lie on your resume. You can think about, oh, do I have them? Like they're asking for someone with problem solving. You know what? I had to solve a lot of problems while I was being a research laboratory scientist. Let me put that word in here and as many times as I can, right? It's just a general correction or according to the company or jobs which is being applied to. This is just a general one. If they send me a specific uh, job uh, that they want to apply to, then we could go deeper into like the, the whole wordings. But then it's so specific to that job. Never lie on your resume. It's so stupid. Okay, no, I... I'm gonna say something. Maybe someone is gonna hate me for saying this, but I have to say it. I allow you to lie on your resume if and only if you can cover on that lie in one week. For example, this job that you're applying for is asking you to have a basic knowledge of a specific library in Python. And you know all the other Python libraries that are kind of similar, but not exactly that one. But it's, you know that it's not that difficult. You can say, right, you can write, oh, I know this library. And then if you get, if you get the job, like not the job but if you get the interview then you study for a week on how to make it but for sure don't don't say that you know chinese if you know nothing about chinese all right that that's why that's why i'm saying like play it smart don't play it stupid anyway this was it for this uh, cv i'm gonna send it to you on discord i hope you liked it if you're watching this from youtube let me know if you have any comments let them know specifically if you have any more comments if i did something wrong please tell me if you disagree with me very open to hear it then so then i can help other people better Thank you.